A look now at the latest COVID numbers for children ages 0 to 19 show that here in Erie County, more than 2,500 cases have now been recorded. Meantime, the test to stay program at school districts across the county has now been put on hold. The Erie County Health Department says it needs more time to review changes by the state health department regarding new isolation and quarantine guidance. 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley says the delay has left some school superintendents deeply disappointed. It was disappointing to hear that the meeting had been canceled. Incredibly disappointed that it's going to be delayed again. Superintendents in the Alden Central School District and Cleveland Hill District say they are surprised the Erie County Health Department pulled the plug on a meeting Wednesday to help districts begin to implement tests to stay. At Tuesday's COVID update, Erie County Health Commissioner Dr. Gail Burstein said they were ready for the meeting to share a protocol with all the districts. We're going to talk about the participation requirements in the program, and then we're going to talk about how they can, the schools can order test kits from us and how they can collect them and so they can start their way on their test to stay program. The county implemented a test to stay pilot program last month in the Grand Island School District, leaving other school district leaders hopeful they could begin the program this week. The county health department tells me it put the brakes on the meeting after learning the State Department of Health updated isolation and quarantine guidance on Tuesday night. In a statement, the county says we have postponed our planned meeting with schools to give our epidemiology team time to review. But superintendents tell me now they are forced to delay the start of tests to stay. It's been a common question we've had from parents is when can we start doing and implementing the test to stay program here at Cleveland Hill? Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't share, you know, this meeting today, we were very optimistic and hopeful that uh, we'd be able to engage in a conversation, a two-way dialogue, uh, which is not what's happened in the past. We, we've attended these meetings and we've been placed on mute. In Niagara County, a different story. Niagara Falls City School Superintendent Mark Lurie says he has an agreement on protocols and is ready to begin test to stay January 17th. However, on December 23rd, the state health department also made an adjustment to test to stay, saying a student must be exposed to COVID in school. Isn't that a big change from coming in from the outside world with a COVID exposure? It, 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 is, it is a big uh, change. And it's also one that I don't think we'll ever be able to prove with certainty. None of us are epidemiologists, nor will we ever take the time to trace back the original roots of where this COVID might have come from. All right, Eileen, so some disappointment here. Is there any way the superintendents could start test to stay this program without Erie County's help? Well, Jeff, unfortunately, no. The superintendents in Erie County tell me that they need the county to provide those COVID tests, other materials, and the protocols all to begin the test to stay program. All right, our Eileen Buckley reporting tonight. Thank you. Here's a little something extra that we want to remind you about. All schools and school districts are required to report the number of COVID student and staff cases on the state's COVID report card. You can type in a school name or district to find out how many cases are reported. This includes all public, charter, private schools, and BOCES programs.